Deputies, welcome to the release of Autobahn Police Simulator 2, release date of today, December 7th, 2017. You can grab this game on Steam for $29.99. Let's check it out. So it looks like we're going to start with some type of character customization. And I will be transparent with you. Uh, I did ask for a press copy from the publisher and they were kind enough to give me one. So it looks like three different presets. I'm pretty pale. I got, I got a couple wrinkles. No moles. Any scars? Oh, some cool looking scars. Yeah, let's do that one. Alright, so then you can play around more with the stature. I think I'm okay with all that. Report to reception. That's the first thing we're going to do. Hello. How can I help you? I'd like to see Mr. Becker. He's the boss around here. Perhaps you can make do with rank and file workers first. No, and I know he's the boss. That's exactly why I want to talk to him. Who do you think you are? <laughs> Looks like we've got some Mass Effect style responses here. I'm your new colleague, and I have an appointment with Orland Becker. Please, could you let me in now? Oh, I see. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Here, I'll open the door for you. To find the boss, go up the stairs and then left. All right, we're going to find the boss report to him. The facial animations are a little funny. Now, I will mention this game. They're going to continue to work on it, continue to fix bugs, push out updates, all that good stuff. Getting a, a fair amount of lag, though. And look at the settings we're on. I don't know if it's the optimization or what. Ah, so you're Mr. Schmidt. Yes, that's me. It's a pleasure. You're 10 minutes late. Honesty is always the best yes, policy. Right. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's going right. on with the textures here? For future reference, I hate unpunctuality and sloppiness of any kind. I tell everyone this. You have a dangerous job. Anything can happen at any time on the Autobahn. And you're going to be spending a large part of your life in your patrol car from now on. I do not tolerate negligence. Do your job properly and don't act the hero. Then we won't have any problems. Understood? Understood. Got a very right. tough boss. Welcome to the force. Before you start, go and see Miss Holt. Miss Holt is next door. All right, we'll she do that. She is responsible for press and public relations here. If anything goes wrong here, she's the one who sorts it out for us. I hope you have no need to make use of her talents, but I think you should introduce yourself just in case. Yeah, we Thank want to stay away from HR. HR that's for sure. Hello, and welcome to our station. Hello, Mrs. Hort. Were you expecting me? No, no, but the wall isn't all that thick. <laughs> we'll be energetic. Old man so, upset? so this game does support a controller, oh, which I've switched right. to. Worse things have happened. Three things you should know. Firstly, Mr. Becker only means well. The police station, the people here, and our work are very important to him. Secondly, I work very closely with Mr. Becker. I tell him what's going on at the police station. And thirdly, I hope for your sake that Roland didn't just hear that. You should control yourself in future. You're right. I don't Man, we are getting off to a great well, start. We're late. Now you know. and now we're, we're making friends here. On the roads. You better go to the changing room on the ground floor and get changed. All right, we'll get You'll into uniform. There too. His name is Hans Haas. You Hans don't Haas. just want to spend your first day chit-chatting, right? Of course not. Thank you. Of course not. Thank you. All right, we're headed uh, downstairs. We're gonna go get changed. Is there a sprint button? Okay, holding RT sprints. Man, this this camera system. I don't know why it's so wonky at the moment. I guess it's a changing room. Oh, yeah. Here's our partner right here. He'd even say nothing so to me when I walk past him. I'm Hans, your partner. Pleased to meet you. Yeah, likewise. We'll have enough time to talk in the car, so let's get going. The patrol car is in the yard. You can drive. It's nice to be chauffeured around at my age.
All right, here's a patrol car. It's a, uh, a BMW, but I don't think they've actually licensed the the brand BMW, so it's probably technically called something else. The car models look a heck of a lot better coming from the first game, that's for sure. Cause accidents through reckless or an uncontrolled driving, the chaos factor increases. All right, so where are we headed to? Uh, what side of the road are we driving on? To be honest, I'm not sure. I believe it's the right side of the road. Washing machines. That's from the first game where they would continuously lose washing machines on the roadway. We need to talk to this driver here. See what's going on. She's just parked in the middle of the roadway. This can't be safe. Good afternoon. What's happened here? Can't you see? The tire is flat. How did that happen? There was a board with nails in it. I only saw it at the very last moment and drove over it. Have you called a towing service? Yes, they're on their way. Okay, please step behind the crash barrier and wait for the breakdown vehicle. I'll take care of the board full of nails. Yes, will do. Thank you. The board full of nails? Why is there a board full of nails on the roadway? That's what I want to know. Oh yeah, that tire is for sure flat. Remove the board full of nails. So it appears it's still in the... Uh, the Autobahn, I think that's where we are, so we're, we'll get back in the car and head over there. So the camera, it kind of follows you in a interesting way. So why is my turn signal still on? That's a question. There we go. So the D-pad is your uh, turn signals. Let's get this board of nails out of the roadway. Or somebody else runs it over. Looks like it's on the other side of the road. We go ahead and activate lights. Get around these drivers. Oh, what the heck is going on here? We've got a vehicle coming the wrong way to oncoming traffic. <laughs> I cannot interact with her in any way possible. Okay, well, there's police nearby. They can take care of that scene. Okay, there is the board with the nails. Somebody else just ran right on top of it. Let's get this out of the roadway. Who puts this in the road? That's what I want to know. Okay, what the heck? So this is the culprit. I'll remove it. Mission complete. Drive back to the station. This is a life-threatening situation. Car 11, can you take this? Go to the workspace. We're back at the station now. Or do I need to file a report or something? Oh, here's our desk. This is like the secretary desk. What the heck? Activate traffic system. Tech tree. Here you can spend influence points you have earned. Each of these expansions bring you various benefits. 
police station or personal characteristics. Now activate the traffic systems to allow the vehicle move in front of you to be measured. Oh, so there's a host of different items here. We'll go ahead, purchase this. How much is this? 5,000. We don't quite have enough for that. Switch to night shift is our next task. Here's the clock in and out machine. Times of day. Here you can change the time of day by jumping to the respective shift as the station is not fully occupied at all times of the day. This could be quite useful and I'll start a night shift. It's like three shift op options, morning, day, and night. And we're going to go to the patrol car and do a nighttime patrol. So the main issue I'm having so far is really more optimization related versus the gameplay. The controls for driving third person in the vehicle are a little clunky. And also we're getting a, a good bit of lag. Uh, just, you know, riding around the game world. Now, if they can fix this and optimize it, I think it will make the play experience a lot more enjoyable. Okay, what's right here? Open the vehicle action menu. You can activate the matrix board as well as speed and distant measurements while driving. You can manipulate traffic using the matrix board. Please stop, for example, brings the vehicle in front of you to a standstill in order to conduct a traffic inspection. You can also close a lane or even the entire autobahn. To measure the speed of the vehicle in front of you and the distance it is maintaining, you must keep it in the area displayed for a certain period of time. On the left, you will see what percentage of the measurement has been completed. It must meet 100% for usable measurement. All right, so let's turn on our traffic measurement system and we will keep it in the zone and get a reading. Right now it's just simply measuring data. Takes it a good bit of time. Oh, he's speeding up drastically. Where are you going, man? Conduct a speed and distance measurement. All right, conduct a general traffic control is our next step. So we actually need uh, to find a reason for pulling somebody over, I would imagine. 